Are they grade nines? And this is going to be your scope for your exam now in June 2021. Now, this exam is comprised of two different tests that you're going to be writing. It's out of your biology side and also the chemistry side. So let's talk about your first test, which is going to be your life sciences or biology test. And looking at it, you are going to have to know quite a few different things of various topics. Um, but I will give you a little bit of a lowdown. So take notes or watch the video a few times if you did not get it the first time. You will definitely need to know your terms and definitions. Terminology is important. So wherever there's a few terms and definitions that are explained, take note of that. Go through all of your slideshows that have been shared with you on Google Classroom. Um, definitely focus on cells and cell structure. Then I'm just going to scroll through. Remember in your first class test, you were basically looking at the differences between plant cells and animal cells, you will need to be able to do that again. So look at your pictures, look at your diagrams, study them. You'll need to be able to label, you'll need to be able to understand them, know the differences which are the difference between each one of them, a plant or an animal cell. So focus on that guys. Then <coughs> I just want to scroll down a bit. It is very important that you look at the reproductive system. Now focus on um, looking at the female reproductive system that is going to be asked. You need to know that. I'm not going to go into a little bit more than that. Know your pictures, know your labels. You didn't draw it for, for nothing in your books, guys. You need to be able to do that. Um, then also what happens during the respiratory system, know your pictures, know your labels, be able to do that in the exam and be able to explain it. And that question paper guys is out of 50. So it's not going to be so difficult, but go through all of that. And in general guys, just terminology is important. If you struggle with a concept, Go find out what the terms and terminology is with regards to your um, different fields, like for instance with the reproductive system and labeling it, know where it fits in and explain how it happens. Now we're moving on to your second test, your chemistry test. That's also out of 50. And again, terminology is important. Remember that you need to learn all of the first 20 elements that we've asked you guys to study. And you definitely need to pay attention to the cahoots that we've been playing. That's going to help you guys out as well. Hopefully you guys took some notes when we were playing that. I know it's fun, but we're also doing it for a reason. Um, then, I told you guys it's going to be important that you know your different metal and acid reactions like obviously if you study this diagram here then you know metal plus an acid gives you what a salt and a hydrogen gas so if you learn that and you see that ha huh, you're getting a metal and you're getting an acid in the test know what is important about that okay so if you go to classwork on Google Classroom as well, you'll see <coughs> all of the lesson presentations have been done for you. So just scroll down. Go, please go through all of them, especially the last couple of slides here, guys. Let me just show. Mr. Mabukama shared with you guys. So like I mentioned to you guys, the formal practical is not going to be uh, work with regards to that so you don't have to worry about for this test but still focus on that um, then I need you guys to focus on where's that question <clears throat> I 
your universal indicators. Now remember, with the extra Google Classroom, I shared a few things with you guys as well. Let me just move the camera side, go to the extra class, and let's go and have a look here. Classwork. That's grade eight. We want to go down to grade nine. Easy way to study, extra video material, the concept of pH. There we go, that slideshow over there. And I just want to move this one again. Sorry for moving you guys around so much, but you'll see what I mean when I get to it. This is gonna help you out a lot. Okay, remember I made this for you guys to help you study. This is gonna help you out. Right, now guys, that's it. I know it's a very vague one. That just means that you'll need to pay attention to all of the stuff that we've studied so far and discussed so far in class. Go through your slideshows, go through all of the terms and terminology Really, if there's anything else that you need, you're more than welcome to contact me. I'll try and help you out as I can. Leave a comment down below in the comment section if there's anything else. But if not, ask away on uh, yeah, the extra classroom. Good luck, guys. Hope you guys do well with this test. Bye for now.